Hello everyone, I'm Irene, and welcome back to our Open Oil Lab mini course. We know that cyber threats have emerged as a major concern for our society, and it is non-negotiable to invest in cybersecurity systems and mechanisms. In this episode, we will explore how you can protect your systems and look at two common security measures, address-based layout randomization, or ASLR, and kernel address-based layout randomization, or KASLR. ASLR and KASLR are techniques aimed at preventing and mitigating incidents. Specifically, malicious actors can locate core components from system memory, from which successful code injection attacks are launched, resulting in system crashes and data breaches. Let's first look at ASLR, first introduced in Linux in year 2001 as a patch for the Linux kernel. It was later integrated into Windows, starting with Windows Vista in 2006. ASLR randomizes the location of code and data on the program's memory to prevent an attacker from knowing determining core assets. When a program is loaded into memory, ASLR randomly arranges the address space where the program is stored. This makes it very difficult for attackers to predict the location of specific functions, libraries, or memory locations and prevents against buffer overflow attacks. Buffer overflow attacks are common as a result of an overabundance of data written to a buffer. If the buffer cannot accommodate this excess, it overflows into memory that is usually reserved for other purposes. Attackers can use this vulnerability to execute malicious code or gain access to sensitive data stored in the memory. This is where ASLR comes in. It thwarts buffer overflow attacks by making the location of a program code, data, and memory unpredictable. Now onto the KASLR, which was first introduced in the Linux kernel in 2010 and later implemented in the 2012 Windows 8 version. KASLR is an extension of ASLR, but differs in that it randomizes the location of the kernel's memory space, or rather, it changes the way the kernel loads itself into memory. The kernel at the heart of any OS is the ideal starting point for any attacks. Kernel typically resides at a fixed memory location making it a prime target for malware to launch code and take over the entire system. KASLR makes it hard to locate the kernel code and access the kernel's memory space, which helps detect and prevent kernel security incidents. Linux uses both ASLR and KASLR in its security features. In fact, Linux was one of the first OS to implement ASLR-based measures, starting in 2005 with Linux 2.6.12, later also using KASLR in 2014 in version 3.14. Linux systems use ASLR to randomize the location of a program code and the data in user space but KASLR is more important to overall system security. It randomizes the memory layout of the kernel to protect the central component while managing all system resources. Together, these techniques help provide superb protection against potential attacks while maintaining its quality performance. Both ASLR and KASLR inject random data into the memory locations where programs and the kernel are loaded, so that each time a program is executed, it is loaded at a different memory location. K 
KASLR also randomizes the kernel's memory location, which makes it difficult for attackers to locate critical kernel code. OpenOiler, just like Linux, builds its foundation on the kernel, securing it from vulnerabilities for enhanced system security. OpenOiler uses protection measures based on both ASLR and KASLR, but as we said, no security protection is foolproof. That's why the team behind OpenOiler is improving its competitiveness to keep systems, data, and networks secure. Many mainstream OS have built in support for ASLR or KASLR to enable ASLR an administrator usually needs to modify the system's configuration settings, whereas KASLR can be enabled by modifying kernel parameters or system configuration files. Even though such protection can defend and mitigate against certain types of memory-based vulnerabilities, they can be exploited by bypassing the protection mechanisms and executing unauthorized code in a system's memory. For example, in ASLR, if an attacker obtains a memory leak vulnerability, they can partially or entirely disclose the randomized location of a module or data in memory, and then modify or execute malicious code. For KASLR, such vulnerability is known as kernel pointer leakage, which discloses the random kernel address in a non-randomized kernel component, from which attacks target the location in memory. The limitation of these measures is that not all memory regions will be covered, leaving some portions of memory unprotected. Additionally, some hardware devices and software libraries do not support ASLR or KASLR. There are several ways to mitigate the weaknesses of ASLR and KASLR and make them more effective against memory-based attacks. Here are just some of the solutions. More random memory layout to increase the entropy level, which improves the effectiveness of security measures. Hardware-assisted randomization using hardware like Intel Execute Disable Bit or Address Space Identification, which are used to harden memory addresses. Comprehensive security measures using binary hardening, control flow integrity, or read-only memory to provide additional layers of protection against memory-based attacks. Updated security patch of the operating system and software reduces the amount of vulnerabilities and the likelihood of being compromised. Frequently test to confirm your system's defenses and resolve any potential weaknesses before they cause issues. These measures help prevent, mitigate, and handle security issues, and the security of the system can be improved as part of a comprehensive defense system. Modern operating systems now employ additional security measures such as control flow integrity and binary hardening to further protect the system from attacks. In conclusion, ASLR and KASLR are security mechanisms that are vital to protect systems from buffer overflow and other attacks. ASLR and KASLR provide a critical layer of protection by randomizing the memory space to be used by programs and the kernel, making it much harder for attackers to locate the code they needed to execute their malicious intentions. Other security measures include staying up to date with the latest security patches to keep systems secure. The techniques we talked about today are an effective security mechanism for a common tax. 
but emerging threats will require additional layers of protection. New research shows that hardware should support randomized address spaces to provide an additional layer of protection. It's more important than ever to invest in a comprehensive security posture to keep systems and data secure. Well, that's all for today's course. I hope you found this insightful and that you are now better informed on this topic. If you are interested in Linux kernel or OpenOILA, please visit our SIG page and stay tuned for more mini courses. Thanks for watching.